Okay, so let's move on to our next topic, which is I just want to quickly touch on a point that I've been trying to get across for the past two or three weeks now, and I've had multiple arguments with some people from school and multiple arguments with people in the comment section. If you want to go look back at the Aaron Jones video I did last week touching on the Panthers and the Packers game, you can see in the comment section the long argument I had with somebody over whether Kyle Allen is the QB of the future for the Carolina Panthers. I just want to put this out there. This is the main topic of discussion. The Panthers are going to regret getting rid of Cam because they, they've pretty much established that they want to get rid of Cam. They placed him on IR even though it's been touch and go on whether he's really that hurt and if he's really not ready to play, which I, I'm not going to question whether he's hurt or not, but I also do believe that the Panthers are trying to transition off of him just from the way that the teammates have spoke about him. I did a video about this two weeks ago saying that Cam Newton's teammates were turning on him, and I still believe that to this day. All right, you just listen to the way they talk and, and you know, in conferences and the way they talk on TV shows. It looks like they're trying to transition off of him. Um, and so I believe that the Panthers are going to regret this. And a perfect example of this was the fact that they lost 29 to three to the Falcons. And if you're new to the channel, you'll realize that I am a Panthers fan. I try to be objective though. And I look at the way this team is Cam Newton would be doing better with this team, with this current roster than Kyle Allen is now Cam Newton would need to be healthy to do that. Uh, because if he can't throw the ball downfield or five yards downfield even, which is where we were at the point last year with his injury where he couldn't even throw the ball downfield th you know, five yards, I mean, obviously if he's like that, he wouldn't be able to do better. But as long as his shoulder is okay and his plant foot is healed, he would be doing better than Kyle Allen. You look at Kyle Allen against the Falcons, and we all know that the Falcons have – tremendously struggled this year. They're not a good football team. And yet Kyle Allen only threw 31 to 50 for 325 yards, no touchdowns, four interceptions, four. And this is coming off two weeks ago against the 49ers where he threw another three picks. All right. Um, and when you look at it, 6.5 yards per attempt, which is a big stat to me, you, you'll see that over the trend of my previous videos and throughout this video and throughout the future, if you stick around, that I look at yards per attempt as a key stat. It tells me, are you dinking and dunking or not? And obviously it is because 6.5 is a very low uh, yards per attempt stat. And that, you know, you could compare that to Lamar Jackson, who has over an eight. And so that is somebody who pushes the ball downfield. You can also look at Dak's yards per attempt, and you can see he doesn't dink and dunk. And so Kyle Allen, he's dinking and dunking, and yet he's throwing all these interceptions. He's only got a 7.3 QBR against the Falcons. The Falcons have a terrible defense, at least up to this point. I mean, they had a resurgence against the Saints, but for the rest of the season, they looked like they were a dumpster fire. And yet, he got sacked five times on top of that. And when you look at that, those just aren't winning QB stats. That's not your franchise quarterback. I've been saying this entire time that Kyle Allen is not a franchise quarterback. He's not the worst quarterback in the world, but he's not going to take you where you want to be in the with your franchise, which is a Super Bowl. Every single franchise, their ultimate goal is to win a Super Bowl. I don't care who you are. You could be the Browns, who have been a disaster for years, and yet their ultimate goal is to get to the Super Bowl and win it. And Kyle Allen is not that dude. He's a good backup quarterback, but that's it. He's not going to be a star quarterback in this league. No matter what people tell me, I'm always going to believe that. And when you look at it, people tried to say, well, Cam, Cam was inaccurate. Cam was trash. You look at his career, you know, he's only completing over a little bit over 50% of his completions, you know, or of his passes. I want you to take a look at what Cam's stats looked like last season. And this is including the games that he was hurt in. He, last year 
had a 67.9 completion percentage. That was up for all the way from the 50s, all right? This was the first year that they had changed offensive systems around North Turner's system, all right? So you could see that North Turner was starting to improve Cam Newton's game. He also threw for 3,395 yards, and so that was 14 games in to add to that. And if he hadn't gotten hurt, he probably would have thrown for 4,000 yards that year, which he does not do very often. I don't think he's done that since his rookie year. Uh, And he also threw 24 touchdowns. He did throw 13 interceptions, but then again, you look at it, after he had gotten hurt was when he threw most of his interceptions last year. And so when you look at that, if he had just stayed healthy, Cam Newton would be a star in this league with it, with North Turner's offense because he completely improved Cam Newton's game to playing at career paces for Cam Newton. And so you can't tell me that Cam Newton in these situations against the Packers and against the Falcons would not be a better quarterback for this system. And so when you look at that, that I believe changes are going to come in this offseason for the Panthers. I mean, if they continue to go on this track and lose games that they shouldn't be losing... Ron Rivera might get fired because they obviously are going in the wrong direction, all right? They're going in the complete opposite direction of where they need to go. They should have kept Cam Newton for this foreseeable future, but instead it looks like they're trying to turn the corner and go on to a different quarterback and go on to Kyle Allen, who's not fit for the job. If anybody is fit for this job who's new, I would say it's either Will Greer, who is our third-round pick, who we're not paying that much because we got him in the third round, and he's got plenty of arm talent. I would love to see how he would do in this offense under Norris Turner's tutelage. Or we can go into the draft, and maybe, and we'll talk about this player later as far as what happened to him this weekend, but maybe you could pick up Tua even. Maybe he drops that far in the draft due to the hip injury. And maybe you can keep uh, Will Greer or Cam Newton maybe even on for the next year until Tua's hip gets right. Because I don't know if uh, if Tua's going to be able to play with his hip injury. I mean, it's still touch and go with how early this injury has happened. And so we don't know all the details yet and how his recovery is going to happen and what pace is going to happen at. But Tua could end up dropping to the Panthers, and I would love to see him play for the Panthers. And so when you look at that, those are all better options than sticking to Kyle Allen. Kyle Allen, I repeat, is not the quarterback of the future for the Panthers. And so you could discuss it in the comments like the dude in the last video did. You you could discuss in the comments section if you believe that Kyle Allen is the future of the Panthers, but... I can bring up multiple stats that show you multiple game performances where he is not showing any improvement that can show you that he is a franchise quarterback. And so we can have a discussion about that and I'm going to win it more than likely because you cannot bring up any stats or really any game film that shows me that he can win football games without Christian McCaffrey running for crazy amounts of yards. I mean, Christian McCaffrey had 14 carries, 70 yards against the Falcons. That's not good enough uh, for Kyle Allen to do well. Kyle Allen needs Christian McCaffrey to do well in the backfield. He needs his receivers to make plays for him. And that's just not what a franchise quarterback needs. A franchise quarterback can take you over the top with his talent. And he's just not doing that. And so I believe that they're going to end up regretting getting rid of Cam. And honestly, I just wish that if Cam moves on, I wish him the best because this franchise has done him completely dirty, in my opinion. And so if you like this video, hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button down below. And also, if you're new to the channel, hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload or a stream.